This is the Journey Tool Company Turos Bit Driver V2. This is the Dirty Dog Brass Edition with Black Micartha Hand Spun Cap. Um, this is the Root Beer Imposter Bit Driver Holder with Wee Hot Bits. I just got in on Journey Tool Company's third drop of these. This is Toros number 290. They're uh, individually handmade, uh, each sort of unique, well not each, but there's a, a, a limited number of styles that they offer, and then he makes one-offs like these. Um, Aaron, the owner of the business, it's a small business, um, he makes all these by himself and does them in limited drops. You can get in on those drops on his Facebook group, sometimes he um, hype them on Instagram as well too. But uh, I managed to grab one, and I made an unboxing video for a competition they were holding in the Facebook group for his birthday. Uh, happy birthday, Aaron. And part of this video was a request from someone else about my thoughts on it. So I'm going to do a screw, I'm sorry, a clip replacement on an older knife and put a deep carry clip on it and give this guy a, a spin, so to speak. Um, and then I'll put in the, the other parts of the video and then maybe a little summation at the end. So... Let's check it out. Let's see what's going on with this thing. Company number 290, the Dirty Dog Brass Black Micartha Hand Spun Turos Bit Driver. These bad boys come with a Weeha bit set. They're magnetized. They work really well. They're not going anywhere when you shake these guys. Aaron has also included these torque bars. Help you get a little extra something something for some difficult deal with screws. I myself will not be using this case, but instead the imposter in root beer. Just do well. So yeah, let's get some macro magic going on here and take a closer look. I really love the little details, like the journey to the company logo underneath the bearing cap. Check out this forced patina. Dirty dog brass. Very, very rad. How about that? My Cartha. Woo! My Carta Mafioso is going to love these, Aaron. Keep making these. Number 290. Dirty dog. Now, it wouldn't be an EDC video if I didn't end it with a pocket dump, right? So I got my Ace of Hanks, Prometheus Lights Beta QR and Copper, Coach Wasp, Combat Beads, of course, Cosmic Newt's Omen. So yeah, happy birthday, Aaron. Thank you for making us cool birthday presents. I am beyond excited to support your small business. Happy birthday. So more than one person asked me to uh, make a review video of my new Journey Tool Company Terrace bit driver. So I thought I'd actually maybe give it some use on its first maiden voyage and uh, record it. So um, it came in this little box and uh, I put the flight tag on it. Came with a Weeha bit driver and this little torque bar. The idea behind this is that if you got a stubborn screw, you put the torque bar on there and it gives you a little extra. I bought the imposter um, bit driver stand to go with it uh, in another set of Weeha bits because you never know when you're going to need two of them. Uh, the directions on a pivot, for instance. So, yeah, um, this is the Black Micartha cap uh, hand spun. A lot of them have the Journey Tool Company logo on the top. Um, I kind of thought the hand spun Micartha looked a little cooler. Um, this finish is called Dirty Dog Brass. Um, I love the little detailing of the Journey Tool Company logo on the bottom of the cap. Um, on the bearing, it just keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. It's so fidgety. Um, this is Turas number 290. So um, I'm going to do a clip replacement, which is not a great use of a new bit driver, but that's what I'm doing. So I need a T9. Go. Uh, so uh, this is my Spider Coefficient. Um, it's all right. The clip is awful on this knife. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna give it some spa treatment. So 
magnetized bit driver. Um, if you never used a screwdriver like this before, the idea is that you hold it in your palm and uh, you can do more precise movements, like little teeny tiny little things for adjusting. But as a regular screwdriver, there's a lot of just normal uses where you kind of like can hold it one way and do it another. So um, we'll give it a shot and see how that goes out. Magnetized too, which is always um, welcome. and easy. So this uh, clip I got on eBay, I think it's like Pacific Sun, I'll link it down in the description. Uh, it's got two black clips on it as well too, super deep carry, because um, this knife really sticks out of your pocket. Um, I hope these screws fit. I did not give them a test fit, but we tried. Oh, they really dropped right in there. All right, so let's see what happens. Let's wrench these guys down. Seems pretty good. All right, so, I mean, I know this is not an amazing test of a screwdriver, like what screwdriver couldn't have done that job, but still, good work. Clip looks nice on this knife too. Do a pocket check on that in a minute. Nice and sturdy. So yeah. This driver though, it's made by Aaron and Journey Tool Company. Um, small business, veteran owned. Um, yeah, he does small drops um, every once in a while because like I said, this is number 290. Um, I'm not sure what number of drops he's done at this point, but um, excited that I got in on that last one. This paracord's not good nearly long enough. But yeah, um, it's very, very cool little driver. Um, I'm definitely excited that I managed to snag one. Um, Journey Tool Company's Facebook has uh, all the details for when he's going to do drops. Um, he lets everybody know uh, ahead of time so he can get ready or whatever. So yeah, as far as a review goes, it's a really, really cool little screwdriver. I mean, not much else to say, really. Like, it looks really sick and uh it functions quite well there's not much more to it than that like uh it's a good tool that uh that does the job i like the size um one of my problems with a lot of other screwdrivers is how big they are because i have small hands um, let's take a look at my uh my normal screws collection um, i often use one of two of screwdrivers and this is my normal one for the job I got this guy at like Home Depot or something like that. I got it because they have double-ended bits on it and then the rest of them could all fit in here. And I was like, this will be excellent. But the the bits, there's one extra that doesn't fit in the back. So like you have to carry this with one in it or, or potentially like lose that. And they're not magnetized. It's got like the little bump or whatever that keeps it in place. Um, this does the job, but you know, it's real big compared to something like this. So if we're talking about like, if I'm going to take a screwdriver with me or something like that, um, I have a small bag that I like to use from Tom Bin. This is the handy little thing. Um, a screwdriver like this versus a screwdriver like that. Like what percentage of the bag is that going to take up? Um, like I said, this guy came with some bits and, uh, I have another extra holder I'm not using for this. Um, but yeah. Very, very cool tool. Aaron did a great job hand spinning these. I love this MyCartha cap. So let's see how we did. Still feels good in the hand. Give me the clip. It's a little different spot. Let's see how it fits in the pocket. Much better. If you watch my intro to this knife video, uh, you can see how I feel about the pocket action from before. Cheers. Vanished. So yeah, this clip is also quite nice. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm gonna link it down below. Um, check it out, very cool. There's a little spider um, on it, trying to keep with that spider coat theme. Matt, I asked him to make it matte. Yeah, very nice. Well done. Cool. 
Next time you see this knife, it's not going to look the same either because he's going to have another spa treatment quite soon. So stay tuned for that. So final thoughts and summations about this guy. Um, if you can't tell already, I think that this is totally rad um, and an awesome little mini screwdriver. Um, you know, one of the things that I really dig about this is the size, you know, that, that you can kind of do a lot of little precise precision work. A lot of the time when you need a micro screwdriver, you're not trying to, to really wrench it super hard a lot of the time. At least for me, when I do electronics work, I, I like a little screwdriver like this. Um, I like the weight. I like the heft. It's not like a plastic flimsy screwdriver like this guy is. I like a little bit of extra weight on this. Um, the magnetized bits, um, Weha bits in general are just going to make this like a nicer screwdriver than it would be on its own um, with a, another inferior kind of bit. I've definitely bent bits before though when, um, when trying too hard on something. But in general, uh, do I think that it's worth the money? Absolutely. Um, I'm all about supporting small businesses and artists and you know I think that this is a functional piece of art. I definitely think that you could get another functional screwdriver that's as good as this one, cheaper, mass-produced from like China or something like that. But I definitely feel better buying um, a handmade, you know, thing like this, a piece of art um, from from a small maker like Aaron. So don't be salty if you missed out on the last drop or some of the other ones. You know, I don't think that makers are doing smaller drops because they want to create limited additions and scarcity and stuff. Uh, it's really quality control, you know? Like, these are all handmade and Aaron doesn't want to over overcommit and make things that aren't up to snuff. That being said, every drop he has done, and this is only the third drop, but every drop has been bigger than the last one. And you know, people like me uh, that support him help make the next drop bigger every time. So he definitely appreciates all the support from all the people out there. You can read it on Facebook um, in the group. He, he's been talking about it like crazy, um, thanking all of us. So happy birthday, dude. Um, I just wanted to make this video for everybody uh, to check out. If you liked this, uh, obviously press the like button and, and subscribe and do the bell and all that stuff to get me in the algo. But if you like uh, me doing EDC videos or review videos like this, um, put a comment down below and tell me what you want me to talk about next. Uh, you want me to talk about some of my other tools that I like? You want me to talk about computer hardware? Um, I could do more reviews like this if you want. Um, I should also say that this is, this is not a paid review. I bought this, uh, this bit driver. It was hard to get, you know? And it's not just giving them to us, so yeah. Uh, Journey Tool Company, uh, I'll link it down below. Definitely, definitely get one of these if you can, dude. Um, Yep, so I hope you enjoy this. Later.